and tragedy in a South Florida neighborhood. Innocent victims in the line of fire. A crazed tenant cops say behind this violent confrontation. We ran out of the apartment, ran throughout the building, firing shots at random in a very irrational fashion. Among the lives lost, a teenage girl, her parents, and three others. All six victims died at the scene. Anger and agony as loved ones and residents cope with the tragedy that started early Friday night and ended with a barrage of bullets after an eight-hour standoff. Good evening. An apartment building in Hialeah, the scene of one of South Florida's worst mass killings. Residents there terrorized for hours. Tonight, we're learning more about what happened as investigators dig deeper. We have Team 7 coverage on our top story. We begin with the night team's Eugene Ramirez. He is live once again at the scene with the very latest. Eugene? Blake, police say this all started with a fire inside one of the apartments. It ended in a fifth floor apartment with a hostage situation. But between those two separate events, six innocent people lost their lives. Police now trying to figure out why. Flashbangs and gunfire early Saturday morning, putting an end to eight hours of horror. Hialeah police shooting and killing the man they say killed six of his own neighbors in this apartment complex on the 1400 block of West 46th Street. The events culminating with a hostage situation here in apartment 523. Carlos Sanchez took us inside his apartment right next door. He says the SWAT team took him out a half hour before the takedown, returning later to find his bedroom wall riddled with bullets that pierced right through. It was impactful. There was glass all over the room. It all started around 6.30 Friday evening. Hialeah police say 42-year-old Pedro Alberto Vargas poured a combustible fluid over approximately $10,000 in cash. It happened in the apartment he shared with his elderly mother. He sets this on fire, unknown why. Mom tries to stop it. She's struggling with him. When the couple that manages the building goes to check out the smoke coming from the apartment, police say Vargas shot and killed them right outside his door. As the fire department shows up, Vargas allegedly runs back inside his burning apartment, firing rounds from his fourth floor balcony, shooting and killing a man across the street. The intent was really Vargas to shoot the first responders, it appears. Police say Vargas then kicked in the door of a third floor apartment, killing a 17-year-old, her mother, and a man. We're hearing that the family man who he killed him, his wife, and his daughter, may have been a part-time assistant of the manager of the building. What police say happened next, terrorizing neighbors, Vargas running through these hallways, shooting at police, police shooting back at him until he locked himself up on a fifth floor apartment. Apartment 523. Vargas cops say taking a couple hostage for nearly three hours. Hostage negotiators unable to get him to surrender, then this. Hialeah police entering the apartment, shooting and killing the alleged shooter, recovering a 9mm pistol and several rounds of ammunition. This could have been a much greater tragedy. And police now focusing on the motive, trying to figure out why this man did what they say he did. Meanwhile, residents of this building you see behind me focusing on their neighbors, many of which lost loved ones in all of this. Reporting